Tech Kids and Gamers, this is your boy Mola E to the Z to the E. So, today I'm going to be bringing you guys a review of the Google Pixel Book. Now, if you guys didn't know, I originally owned the Microsoft Surface Book, and to me, I felt like that was the perfect laptop. Um, I didn't have any issues with that laptop. The only thing is, it didn't do a good job gaming. Um, but uh, Google, I'm all about Google whenever they release a product. I get it. I love Google product. It's a guy since he in this channel. I've done reviews on Google Pixels. I've done reviews on Google Home, Google everything. Um, <laughs> I own a lot of the products. So when I heard that we were releasing uh, a Google Chromebook, I was sold on this device. I was like, I, this is going to be the laptop to replace my Surface Book. Um, but um, then Microsoft dropped a bomb that they were going to be releasing a Surface Book 2 with a GTX graphics card in it on November 17th. And so now I'm on the fence. Um, and so what I'm going to do is uh, give myself two weeks to see if this can be my ultimate laptop. And if it can, then I will choose this over the Microsoft Surface Book. But if it can't, if it can't meet my needs of... Um, just using it as a laptop and then doing some video editing and YouTube and stuff on this then I will be returning it to get um, the Microsoft Surface Book 2 so that's my two week challenge with this device um, but to get started this device looks really good it is made out of metal and glass as you can see here it has the signature Google Glass uh, Google Pixel Glass right up here with this device and it's all metal right here and on the back Back. similar design you get all metal but instead of glass this right here is rubber and this feels really good I don't know why most companies uh, don't do this like it's a rubber grip and I will show you guys it helps it from not sliding and it helps it to have a good um, track and bottom when you're using this a tablet so as you guys can see right here as well this also rubber here um, so if you put it down you can see you can move it around it doesn't scratch it and it doesn't like make noise which I think is really awesome so when it comes to port um, this has two USB type C ports so you have one here and then you have another one right here now the only downfall to this device is they don't have a normal USB um, port here so if you're trying to plug in like a uh, a USB drive a stick drive on here to like transfer stuff or if you want to transfer like um, photos with an SD card as well you can't do that the only ports on this device is the USB type C ports that I showed you guys which is kind of a bummer but I guess what they're trying to do is to keep this as slim as possible and let me tell you guys this is one of the slimmest if that's even the word device that I have seen yet it's so tiny so light very portable I just throw this in my bat uh, my laptop bag and it almost feels like it's not of an India which I think is awesome the surface book was a small device as well but it was you know it was, it was kind of heavy um, and it makes sense because of the specs that's in here, but in there. But this is a lot lighter, and I, I like, I love actually the portability aspect, in fact, of this. So as you can see here, when you open it again, this is the rubber finish, and you guys have to test this out to see what I'm saying. It feels really good, and it looks really good too. Um, and then this, uh, the keypad is actually glass and. It pushes in and it's very comfortable and feels really good as well. Um, and then the keyboard actually is great. It's one of my favorite keyboards. Not better than the Surface Book, but definitely great keyboard for sure. Um, and then, you know, you have the camera right up here, as you guys can see. Front facing camera if you guys want to Skype or do other, you know, take selfies as well. Um, so, all around, uh, really great great device for sure um, and it looks good guys you guys have to see let me see if I can look how thin this is and if you guys didn't know as well it bends and folds into a tablet too so they say it has four forms of um, conversion if you want to call it that you have your typical laptop and then um, you have this if you're trying to like display like a slideshow at work to people you can just stand it up like that and then you can 
folded like this and it becomes a laptop but when it's folded guys see how thin this is? I wish I had um, my surface book to compare this to but it's, it's very very thin um, but then by doing so you have you'll be touching the keypad like this but when it's like this the keypad is locked so um, it doesn't really affect it much um, so but overall great great design for this this device for sure so when it comes to performance um, I'm happy to report the battery life in this device is amazing you get about 10 to 12 hours depending on your usage um, and this so spec wise let's sorry let's go to spec so the device that I have right now is actually the um, i5 um, processor with a 128 external SSD in here um, so with Chromebooks I don't feel you need i7 processors on here the price increases I believe it jumps to 200 if you want to get um, the i5 with um, the i5 with 256 SSD and then it jumps to like 15 or 1600 if you want to get the i7 with 256 SSD <laughs> for a Chromebook I really don't recommend um, I think the basic specs for um, i5 with um, one um, 56 SSD is perfect because is it 128 SSD? What am I talking about? It's perfect um, because that's what you really need to run Chrome OS. It's not a heavy um, operation system, so you it doesn't demand the type of um, processing power that Windows laptop does so I I feel like with the one i5 128 SSD does great with a Chromebook um, so that's that's the one I chose to get for a thousand bucks and as you guys can see here it's man it's it's pretty snappy again the you know Chromebook is all about the web and using um, your internet so it definitely all depends on your internet speed too but as you can see, I just typed uh, Google on here. Let me type YouTube. And um, let me mute this because, uh, as you can see, I have kiddos. So <laughs> this is the first thing that pops up. But let's go to my subscription and just play a decent. <laughs> Never mind. Well, this is going to play. But as you can see, they're really snappy, really quick. Um, and. This, it, it performs really well. I'm really um, satisfied and happy by the speed of, of this device and how well it performs. So Google did a good job definitely with um, the, the specs and the performance of Chrome OS. Now as you guys know, the great thing about um, this device is that it now runs Android um, apps. So if you come here and you go to the Play Store, you have access to all of, um, pretty much all of the apps here. So you can type something like Clash of Clans, um, and then it's right here, and you can just install it to your device. And I'm just gonna put install, so you can see it's downloading 86 gigs. But just for the sake of this video, I already have Mario on here, so I'm gonna just play it. This is an Android game, and you guys will see um, one of my complaints about this device for sure. Okay, so this is Mario running on um, on. Pixelbook and as you can see he's not taking advantage of this full screen it's just cut in half it's pretty much simulating a cell phone um, so this is not like designed and catered for Chromebooks yet the apps are not so that's my biggest grip with uh, the Android apps there's a lot of them that are not um, designed for Chrome OS yet so they all look majority of them look funky um, so instead of getting like the full display you get in half of a display um, which you know sucks because it's not taking advantage of how beautiful the screen is and I didn't talk about that the screen is gorgeous it's not exactly 4k yet but it's close I think it's 2k um, 
and it looks really good watching YouTube videos on here is excellent but um, again my complaint is it doesn't take advantage of the full screen apps doesn't there are some apps that does um, but as you can see here you, let me get started so you'll be able to use the touchpad to jump so playing or running Android apps on this device works well if they can optimize the screen size so the touch is pretty responsive to run to run games this is Mario run I think it's called but as you can see it runs really well <laughs> but I'm not gonna play this forever so I'm gonna exit it but that's Android apps running on the Chromebook and it actually works really really well um, the other thing uh, is my other complaint with this device is the fact that it has web apps and it has Android apps. For instance, um, what's that app I was just... So there's a Play Store here, and then there's a Play Store here, and then there's a Play Store here. Um, so you have the web Play Store, and then you have this Play Store, and then you have that. It's, it's just confusing. I wish somehow Google can either put like web apps on one page and then Android apps on the other page to make it less confusing because this is just disorganized um, but apart from that Chrome OS runs really well really snappy really fast and I'm really really enjoying it now this is a feature that they uh, talked about when they unveiled this device where if you have a Google Pixel phone um, you should be able to tether the phone instantly if you don't have internet connection now I haven't got to try this uh, feature yet because I ordered my Google Pixel XL 2 from Best Buy and I still didn't have my phone yet. Um, so this, uh, I don't know, the people are saying that Google is um, like cutting down production because of the, the, the display issues, they're trying to fix that before they ship out more products. Um, but so I can't test that feature because I don't have my um, Pixel phone yet. But I think that's a killer feature and once I get that and test it out with this, that actually might be what um, might helps me make the decision to keep this over the surface book because I think that's awesome. Just being able to not depend on Wi-Fi and um, you know connecting to the internet on the go is for especially for a Chrome Pixel that needs to be connecting the internet 24/7. I think that's going to be a win. Um, so that's my review on this device. I personally like it. Um, I didn't even talk about the S Pen, but yeah, it, it works pretty well. You push this button, you can circle things, and it searches, uh, you know, it uses the assistant to search on Google's website and web page, and it works really well. Uh, precision wise, it's pretty precise as well. The thing is, there's not a lot of apps on Chrome OS that supports it. Microsoft has, um, what is it? Uh, where they annotate one note right to take notes and stuff like that you can use Google keeps to take notes but it's not as advanced as one note there are other third-party apps that you can download on uh, Android and Chrome OS they re that uses a pen but I feel like if Google is pushing this hundred dollar product they should create more software that supports it that's just my other complaint so this is a good device all device definitely not worth a thousand bucks though i think this dev if this device was worth 500 bucks man i will be all over it i will recommend it um but the fact that it's so expensive and it doesn't do as much as uh windows um os does it was just an uh, a way to run windows um uh Windows OS on the Chromebook. Um, I was just reading up on it, and I think that will make this uh, device legit, kind of like how you can run Windows on um, on a MacBook. So until I test that out, I do have to say this is definitely not worth the um, thousand dollar price point. So wait for a sale for this device. If you can find this for five hundred, I definitely think it'll be worth it. But until then. Um, I will let you guys know in two weeks what I decide to do if I decide to keep this or return it to get the Surface Book 2. Um, Alright guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching um, and I will see you guys in 
my next video. Peace out.